A couple of months back, I uploaded a video called how to get rid of acne scars and marks and hyperpigmentation. So give that a watch if you haven't already. If that was more of a general informative guideline, in today's video, I'm going to share my experience that helped fading my acne marks that used to look something like this to this. Let me lay out the ingredients that I've tried so far. So first, niacinamide. It's been great for brightening my complexion in general, but I do feel like it doesn't really do much when it comes to targeting really stubborn pigmented spots. But I really do love niacinamide for other reasons, so it'll still be in my daily routine. Alpha Arbutin. I know a lot of you have seen good results with Alpha Arbutin, so I tried it. I tried two products with it. I finished them all. I just really didn't see the point of using it because it wasn't doing anything to my skin, so it's now out of my routine. L-ascorbic acid is a pure form of vitamin C that I do know and I do believe it can bring good results with high concentration like between 15% all the way up to 30% but sadly L-ascorbic acid products have been quite irritating my skin so far so I kind of got discouraged but Drunk Elephant one was quite nice except the fact that I just didn't really see a transformative results. So what did work? Finally, I present to you the tamale oil. So this is something that single-handedly really, really, really helped me in fading those dark pigmented spots. And I read so much about tamale oil, about the benefits, about how it works in like eczema, acne, and it almost sounds too good to be true. I bought this a couple of months back and then I haven't been using in a regular basis to be honest because I can get really, really lazy sometimes. So I've been skipping it and I kind of forgotten about it. And then I introduced this back into my routine been using it every single night only on the spots where I do have pigmented spots and then something happened like I noticed a visible difference in a few weeks and I was kind of going through my old footage um, just organizing my video files and then I noticed that my dark pigmented spots that I have right here faded significantly and I know a lot of you guys have been commenting and messaging me about how great tamano oil is my auntie is a massive firm believer in tamano oil she's not someone who applies or even has a solid skincare routine at all but like the only thing that she would swear by and would apply over and over again is tamano oil she would say this like miraculous before and after story about tamano oil like how she came across and how it really helped in fading one of the most stubborn and sunspots that she had that she even got removed professionally but then it came back and then she incorporated tamano oil and then it slowly but gradually it remarkably faded that sunspot so ever since then she's been using tamano oil for years and years and I somehow didn't know about this story until just recently if we're talking about the texture and the consistency tamano oil is definitely a bit heavier than rosehip seed oil hemp seed oil jojoba and grapeseed oil which are more suitable for oilier skin type but it's not as heavy as avocado oil olive oil um, coconut oil which are more suitable for drier skin type it's like right in between and if we break down the fatty acid composition in terms of the oleic and linoleic acid ratio it's pretty similar in terms of the percentage but it's still slightly 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 higher in oleic acid which makes this oil a little bit just a tiny bit heavy but it absorbs pretty well into the skin so if you do have dry skin this might be great to apply all over the face if you do have oily skin you might want to apply this only on the spots if you're someone who cannot handle the oiliness or the kind of greasy residue that it leaves behind what you can do is that you you can absorb the oil first and then you can gently press a tissue or something to remove the excess oiliness. For me so far it never caused any breakouts or I never felt like it's clogging my pore at all. It actually does sink beautifully and it really really nourishes and also softens my skin and I just wake up with the best 
plump, soft skin ever. So let's look at what tamanu oil can do. So tamanu oil is a very well-researched oil that's known to be a really, really good wound healing oil, which promotes the formation of new scar tissue to grow and generate so that your skin rejuvenates. So basically, it just means that whether you have wound, whether you have cut, scar, burn, whatever, tamanu oil can really, really help. When I used retinol incorrectly, I completely burned my neck. It was really, really bad but then I applied tamanu oil consistently for about three or four days it just my scars my burns or everything was calmed down and then it didn't leave any scar at all so this is something that can be used as a first aid treatment as well tamanu oil also has a very very strong anti-inflammatory property which makes it as a good alternative to conventional acne treatment and all the xanthons inside tamanu oil possess a very very strong anti-inflammatory activity and also it shows reduction in eczema rashes soreness skin swelling tamanu oil also has a very very strong antibacterial antifungal activity activity which kind of demonstrates and also explains the very long shelf life you can even store this up until two to three years if you store it in the fridge it's even up to four years that's a very long time for natural oil to not go rancid at all that's because this oil contains very very powerful fungicides and bactericides i think last one is my favorite tamana oil has an antioxidant superpower so basically it has xanthons and coumarins which are basically a organic and chemical compound that exists inside the tamanu oil which makes it so so powerful to work as an antioxidant so they basically inhibit your lipid peroxidation process which is basically your cells kind of getting damaged by the external stressors in other words it's just making your skin really really healthy where to buy tamanu oil? You can basically go to any kinds of organic supermarkets like Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, Sprouts, or wherever that's near you. I personally ordered mine from iHerb. This is the Life of Flow Pure Tamanu Oil. It's cold pressed organic and it is from Vietnam. And I think the highest grade is often coming from Madagascar and it's often unrefined and it has a very naturally green foresty tint to it and it comes in a very gloopy texture which can be a little bit hard to use as an oil itself if you're interested i will leave the link down below so there you have it this was my personal experience with tamanu oil and how it helped me in fading my acne marks it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work the same on your skin and i cannot guarantee any results with it but hopefully it works for you i just want you guys to remember whether you're struggling with acne rosacea eczema or any kind of skin Skin condition honor yourself and really really nourish and love your skin as well as your body and once you start respecting your skin once you start listening to what your skin is saying I'm sure you will have amazing results anyways the best conversation happens over on my Instagram at about Leah Yu so I'll chat to you guys more over there stay healthy and happy and I'll talk to you guys soon bye